What makes a web go around? When I tell people that I work online, the reaction I very often get is bafflement. Countless people have admitted to me at one point or another that they have no idea what I do for a living. In fact, my grandma once made me promise to her that whatever I did was not illegal. When I left university and started working for myself, everyone expected me to fail. They all asked, when are you going to get a proper job? A little offensive? Sure. But it's understandable. After all, it's not at all obvious from an outsider's perspective how money gets made on the web. How can you earn money online while sitting at home? How do websites earn money even if no products actually change hands? This is the part some of you will already know. But it bears repeating for those that don't. Essentially then, money is made online thanks to views. The more people view a website or an article, the more opportunity there is to make money. And this is possible partly thanks to advertising and partly thanks to sales. If you have a website that is getting several hundred thousand views per day, then you will have the option of placing Google ads on it. These are adverts that are automatically generated by Google's partners and which you will then place on your website. Each time the ad is clicked, Google earns some money, and a portion of that revenue is split with you. Well, this might sound strange, the reality is that those people are likely going to head to that other website and then spend more money. For instance, if an insurance company is paying for clicks on your website, chances are that the visitors it gains from this will buy at least some insurance, and thus they'll earn more money than they spend in the long term. And don't get it twisted. You'll only earn a few cents per click in most cases. So you really need hundreds of thousands of views for a website to be profitable through this process alone. If you are still struggling to get your head around this, then the best comparison to make is with free papers and magazines that you might have seen being handed outside your local train station. Those free magazines cost money to print, and they're being given away. But the customer in this case is not the person reading the magazine. The customer is the advertiser. And the magazine has value to the advertiser because it has such a wide exposure. The more eyeballs that see that paper or magazine, the more the advertiser can potentially stand to earn by placing their adverts there. This is how a website works too. Better than Google AdSense. But don't rely on Google Ads to make money from a website because that puts you right at the bottom of the food chain. Remember the advertisers are only willing to pay for clicks because they have more effective means of monetizing those visitors. They're making more per visitor than they are paying Google. And they're only getting a small amount of that. So right now, you're really not earning huge amounts of cash compared with what you could be earning. So another way you might monetize your website is by selling something. For many businesses, this is already built in as it were. If your website exists to support an existing pizzeria, hairdresser, massage salon, or anything else, then you are ultimately going to be earning money from the visitors by promoting your brand and encouraging people to visit your store in person. You can also set up a product or service after the fact. In this case, your website might promote your SEO services. More on that in a moment. It might promote your digital ebook that you are selling. It might promote an online course, or it might even promote a physical product. This way, you are now keeping 100% of the profit. Sure, you might have some overhead with printing costs and delivery, but you aren't sharing your cash with anyone else. And finally, you might be able to sell a service. For instance, if you are a good writer, then you can simply create a website, get lots of people to look at it, and then promote your writing service at X amount per 100 words. Likewise, for web design, photography, video editing, proofreading, the options are endless. And this is just another way you can get pretty much any job you like by having the skill and knowing how to navigate the web. And then there's affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing means that you are selling products other than your own. These products are things that another creator has built, often things like ebooks, which are offering commission. You sign up and are given a link called an affiliate URL. You then promote this link and anyone who clicks on it will be taken to the product page via another website. That intermediary website will leave a cookie on the user's computer before sending them on, allowing the store to recognize that you sent them. Now, if they buy the product, you get a fraction of the purchase. This is often much higher than the amount of money you would get from an advert and can range from a few percent in the case of Amazon products to a whopping 50, 70, or even 90%. Why would a creator be willing to give away so much of their income? We'll look at it this way. 
They are already selling the product themselves. Any sales you make will not take away from those sales. Therefore, any additional sales that their affiliates and partners make will simply mean more income for them. The more generous they are with their commission, the more affiliate marketers they will be able to attract, and eventually, this can lead to them having a legion of marketers, all promoting products on their behalf. And in some cases, these marketers might not help them to make sales, but they'll still be giving them free exposure and improving their brand awareness, etc. So the sellers have a lot to gain this way, and so do you. Through all these systems, then, a lot of money is to be made through internet marketing. If you can do all that, then you can stand to earn a lot of money for yourself by promoting products, services, and affiliate deals. But at the same time, you'll also be highly valuable to businesses that need someone to run their marketing campaigns and help them reach a wide audience. But good internet marketing means not only getting as many viewers on your website as possible, but also making sure that those viewers are truly engaged and that they are fans of what you do. It's one thing to be able to reach your audience. It's a different thing to be able to persuade them.